In today's video, I'm going to show you how to film high quality video content right with your cell phone. Matter of fact, that's what I'm using right now. And I'm going to show you how to do the same coming right up. So today I'm going to show you how you can take your cell phone footage from looking and sounding like this to looking and sounding like this. Ooh, wow. Okay. Th that's much better. Oh yeah. Don't you think? What's up everybody? This is Alicia Way. Today we're talking all about how we can make quality video content right from our cell phone. That's really all you need these days. But first, if this is your first time on my channel, in this community, we're all about pursuing passion, fulfilling purpose, and producing profits. So if that's something that you're about, then please consider subscribing. Like I said before, this video is all about showing you how to produce the highest quality video content that you can produce with your mobile device and your cell phone. 99% of people, that's really all they got, including myself. All I got is my cell phone and I'm not trying to fork out hundreds and thousands of dollars on expensive DSLR uh, camera or some expensive point and shoot camera when the cell phones these days have just as good as quality, especially if you enhance your quality with certain uh, accessories uh, that can actually help you really raise the production value of your video content that you film on your cell phone. Jumping right into the meat of the video, you're gonna need five basic things that's gonna really set you apart while using your cell phone to film high quality content. If you can get these five basic things, then you're gonna be 90% ahead of most content creators that are using their cell phone. The first thing is, you're gonna need a cell phone, okay? Just That's just a heads up, okay? Spoiler alert, you're gonna need a cell phone. <laughs> Without a cell phone, this is gonna be extremely hard to do. The second thing you're gonna need is a microphone. These come in all shapes and sizes. One that I recommend is a lavalier mic like this or some type of mic like this that I'm using right now. Both of them sound very similar and both of them will get the job done, but you're gonna need some type of microphone. Third thing you're gonna need is some type of stabilizer, meaning a tripod, something to hold your cell phone. We're not stacking cell phones on books in 2020, okay? The fourth thing you're gonna need is some type of set, you know? You're gonna need a set. You're gonna need to make some type of set to really give people something to draw into your world with. The fifth thing you're gonna need is a light. You're gonna need some type of lighting. If you can get some type of lighting, it's gonna completely set you apart from other content creators who are using cell phones without any lighting. Phone, <laughs> tripod, light, microphone, set. Five things. If you can get those five things down, you will have a better YouTube video and better video content than 90% of the people who are doing it. Trust me. Okay, so now this is how it looks when I don't have the proper lighting, right? And this is how it sounds when I don't have the proper audio, okay? Now for a lot of people on YouTube, the vast majority of people on YouTube, well, this is exactly how they record. They record with their phone with no lighting and no audio. So at the end of the day, you can see them okay, uh, you can hear them okay, but their video doesn't really pop and their vocals, their audio doesn't really pop. All right, so I have some notes here on my iPad. I'm gonna be reading some notes. Um, the first thing that we talked about was your cell phone. You need a cell phone. As it relates to cell phone, you wanna make sure that you have a few things, okay? You wanna make sure that you have sufficient storage on your cell phone. So you, you wanna make sure that you are having enough storage on your cell phone to record your video. So if you're gonna be going for longer videos, you wanna have, of course, make sure you have 
more storage shorter videos you don't need as much storage just make sure you have enough storage on your phone to complete the video that you're trying to complete there's no worse feeling than recording and then you get a notification saying that you don't have enough storage to finish your video i'm out of storage how am i out of storage already what's, what's going on that sucks second thing is you're going to need to charge your phone make sure you have sufficient charge on your phone because there's no other worse feeling than middle of a video and your phone you get that notification that you're on 15 percent uh and your phone is dying oh no my phone dying no now you got to get completely out the groove to try to figure out how you're going to finish your video later the next thing you want to do is make sure that you're recording in landscape mode you don't want to be recording in portrait mode if you record in portrait mode you're going to have the black bars on the side of your video and that's horrible see the bars you don't, you don't want the bars can you can you let me out the bars bruh can you let me out the bars? That's so distracting, you know, and it, it really sticks out like a sore thumb uh, when people are trying to watch your video. So make sure you're recording in landscape mode on your cell phone. The next thing is make sure you wipe your lens. It's very important that you wipe your the glass on your lens because a lot of times, you know, they have fingerprints on them, smudge marks on them, dust. Dust is a big one. Dust will have your cell phone footage looking really hazy. Looking a little hazy in here. <laughs> Can you see me? Can you see me? Oh, there you go. I got an eyeball. Oh, you don't want your cell phone footage looking hazy. I see it so much on photos and videos. People just don't take the time to wipe their cell phone lens off, which in turn just puts a lot of haze and glare in their videos. And, you know, if you just wipe your cell phone lens off, you're going to have a nice crystal clear image uh, for video and photos. So make sure you wipe your cell phone lenses off. I almost forgot to mention this and it's very important. Make sure that you put your phone in airplane mode. You do not want to be getting texts and calls and other notifications while you're in the middle of filming your video. Very important. Put your phone in airplane mode. The next thing you want to make sure you have is a tripod. You want to have some type of tripod. These are fairly inexpensive under $20 for sure and you can get a good enough tripod that will completely raise the quality and production value of your video because it will do a few things for you. First of all, it will allow you to frame your video correctly. You want to make sure that you are framing your video to where it makes sense and that it is easy on the eyes for the viewer. I'm trying to get in there, boy. Trying to get in that frame, shout Trying to get in that frame, shout Oh, yeah. Okay, you also want to have a tripod because it will serve as great uh, stability for your cell phone. So your cell phone isn't all shaky. It's not leaning to the side. It's not, you know, just it's, it's hard to watch a video if it's not stable. And like I said, we're not stacking cell phones on books, having a cell phone slide down halfway through the video or fall over halfway through the video. Just get a tripod. Another thing is the tripod will allow you to have great angles. You don't want to have bad angles on your cell phone video footage. You don't want nobody looking all in your nose. I be seeing YouTubers all in the low, bruh. <laughs> Bad angles is just so annoying. People don't really see that they have bad angles. Um, so yes, a tripod, just to recap, will give you great framing, making sure that your whole body and your whole head or whatever you want to frame is in the picture. You're not too to the side or whatever the case is. It will give you great stability so your footage is not all shaky, leaning and falling over and just, you know, and it will also give you great angles. You can get good angles. You know, you're not all up under your chin, not all on the side of your head, just looking crazy. That's what a tripod will do for you. The next thing is lighting. You need proper lighting for the videos that you're trying to make. Okay, so I will say 
the best lighting and I do believe the best lighting is the light from the sun the light from the sun if you have a window that you can get in front of and the sun is facing you then you want to film in front of that window just face the light and it will light your face evenly and it will have the best tonality for your type of skin it's like the sun automatically balances each skin tone perfectly so it's amazing use sunlight if you can okay so if sunlight is not an option for you then fret not you have other options so like if you stay in a state that's like always raining or have always have an overcast and you just can't get really good sunlight to record in front of a window um, then that's fine you have to do like I did and get a ring light so me personally um, the way uh, my house is is not really facing the sun so I can get really good sunlight a lot of times so and plus it's always raining kind of so I didn't like the volatility of our weather I just went ahead and bought a ring light uh, a ring light is really good because it, it really lights your face really evenly and the good thing about a ring light is it comes with a stand where you could put your cell phone in it and it's just something about your cell phone being right up under the ring light and the, the way the light is it kind of really maximizes the quality of the uh, the camera um, the video camera on your cell phone so it really gets crystal clear on the image that it's trying to get which in this case is my face so that's why it looks a lot better um, the ring lights they're fairly inexpensive everything that I talk about actually in this video I'm linking below in the descriptions because I am an Amazon influencer so you can go click on my Amazon influencer influencer link and you can see exactly everything that I'm talking about in this video so believe it or not I actually have two lamps in my room right now I have a lamp over here which is just the just my regular room lamp then I have another lamp right up here because what happens is when I um, turn that lamp off then this side of my face is pretty much like dark you know? You see, like this side of my face now is just completely dark, you know. So all I have is that lamp, you know. So I have that lamp and I have that lamp that I turned off that I'm going to turn back on right now. So it's pretty, pretty lit, you know, but in my opinion, it's still not good enough. So lighting is super important. Lighting is super important. Okay. Remember that lighting can actually almost make or break the image. Next, you need some type of microphone. You cannot depend on an internal microphone that comes with your cell phone. Okay, now let's talk about audio for a second. Now you hear how I sound? This is the microphone that's coming directly out of my cell phone. Now, it's a decent microphone. It's okay, it's not the worst, okay? You can hear what I'm saying clearly. Um, but it takes a little bit more intensive listening when you don't have a microphone. You kind of almost sometimes have to be reading my lips to kind of make sure I said what I said or maybe reading the captions on the screen. You know, when you have a microphone, it, it takes a lot of the guesswork out of what somebody said. A lot of people listen to YouTube like a podcast. They'll put a video on, they'll get the cooking, changing the baby. And if the audio sounds like it sounds right now, then a lot of people would just click off and go try to find a video that has better audio so they can continue to multitask while they listen. So audio, they say, is just as important as the video. Some uh, surveys say audio is even more important than the video. So you can do something really, really um, simple to just completely level up your audio. And, and it's very inexpensive and it's super simple to do. It's called a lavalier microphone. They are called lav mics for short. It's a very small microphone that you see most people would clip right on their shirt, right about there or so, or right up under, and it completely levels up your audio. Okay, so now I'm gonna plug up the lav mic, the lavalier microphone, and I'm gonna show you the difference. Uh, so you can hear the difference in the internal microphone on my cell phone uh, versus the external lavalier microphone, okay? Testing, testing, one, two. 
testing one, two. Now you're listening to me through the lav mic, the lavalier microphone. You actually do not see it because I have it concealed under my shirt, but even still, it sounds way better than the internal microphone from my cell phone. This one tiny little step right here will completely level up your video and it will also help you get subscribers and help you get more watch time and help you just grow on YouTube. I use my Audio-Technica AT2035. The only reason I use this, I don't need to use it, but the only reason I do use it is because, you know, I'm a music guy. I just like the way it makes my, 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 my set look. You know what I'm saying? It, it looks, it makes my set look doper than just having a lav mic but for most people all you need is a simple lav mic um, and it works just as good as this if not better and it actually works really good um, so yeah like I said I just like the way this makes my set look and that actually brings me to my last uh, step on what you need let's talk about your set if you want your content to really stand out and to be high quality you have to have some type of set going on behind you um, don't overthink think it you can really just get a decent set most of the time just by cleaning up and organizing your background but your background is going to be something that's important because while you're sitting there talking um, as you're inviting people into your world and your personality and your character which is a huge part of YouTube and getting people to subscribe and really uh, be a part of your community they're gonna be checking out your background they're gonna be checking out the things that you're about and they're gonna be getting clues from just looking at your background and things like that so you want to have a clean background a decent background and just you know have a nice set you know this is what I came up with I only have a corner in my office uh, me and my wife we share an office so I have a small corner so this is what I was able to do with my small corner and my home office which I work from home I also record music from home so my set has more of a musical influence um, so yeah have a decent set another point about your set and your background is you want to make sure that it is super quiet right I have three children so it is super hard for me to record most of the time I have to record early in the morning like now or late at night um, when I first started doing YouTube videos I was doing them late at night and I just didn't like how I looked I looked tired I was talking slow my words were slurring so I started just getting up at like five six in the morning and record my videos then and ever since then it's really worked out my energy is up and my whole vibe is different in the morning so that's another thing try to think of a time in your home when it's quiet and it's not loud and you can just really get in the zone and just really just just focus on you and the camera and your audience all right so just some recording basics you want to make sure you do a few things when you get on camera you want to make sure that you're looking at the camera right and not looking at yourself OK, um, a lot of content creators will tell you if you record on your cell phone to record with the back facing camera and not the front facing camera. They say that the back facing camera is superior to the front facing camera. And that could be true. I have not seen that as a result of me recording uh, with my phone, though. I believe truly that the front facing camera, which is what I use, is just as equal to the back facing camera. I don't see any infer inferiority with my front facing camera. So I just use it because it's easy for me to have uh, to uh, reference my scene, reference where I'm at, you know, reference a lot of stuff and I don't want to turn my camera around and not have that reference you know so there are some things that you can do to have a monitor and things like that on your cell phone I however I don't do all those I just use my front facing camera and I just make sure that I look right into the lens right at the camera you want to look right at the camera okay you don't want to be doing this Hey, how y'all doing today? You know, because if you're looking, if you're looking at yourself on the camera, if you're looking, you know, at your hair and all this stuff, no, get over yourself, look at the camera, make direct eye contact with your viewers, okay? That's gonna allow you to build trust, right? They're gonna be able to look into your eyes and just know that you're sincere with what you're saying and you're trying to help them, you're trying to educate them and bring value to their life by just some, something simple as looking them in their eyes, looking directly into the camera don't look at yourself that's aggie look at the camera all right
Also have bullet points. Make sure when you get on camera that you have bullet points. You're not just sitting here rambling, talking, 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 going on and on and on, getting off the topic, on topic, off topic. Just have some basic bullet points. Me, I use my iPad with my bullet points. You can write them down on a piece of paper. You don't have to write out a full script, but just write down bullet points of what you want to hit. That way you can uh, have a concise and a very value packed video without all the sidebar and getting off topic too much because people's time is valuable. You don't want to be wasting people's time. You dig? Also, make sure you do a test run. Do a test run um, so you're not just, you know, recording and the audio not working or the video is not working or something like that. Do a test run. Make sure that you set all of your uh, settings correctly and the audio is working. There's no worse feeling than recording a whole section of your video and going back, listening to it, and the audio wasn't working or something like that. So especially if you're using external microphones like I am, you want to just do a quick little test, play it back, make sure it's working and then proceed to record your video. Another thing is I said I touched on settings. Make sure your settings are right in your cell phone. It comes with some standard settings. But what you want to do is make sure that you're setting the um, the frames to uh, 1920 uh, 1080p. You want to make sure that it's set to the widescreen full HD uh, settings setting if you have 4k set it to 4k um, but you just want to make sure that it is the highest quality possible also you can make sure that you set um, your phone to autofocus most of the new phones have autofocus the autofocus is uh, amazing like you know you can go out of frame come back in frame you're going to be blurry and boop look how quick that just focuses on my face you can even do depth to field focus right so look how oh no it's not see and that's a good another thing too you can lock the autofocus on your face and see it's locked and now it, it will continue to stay focused on my face but if i take the autofocus off right focusing on my fingers focusing on my face <laughs> focusing on my fingers focusing on my face so all these new phones, oh, sorry. All these new phones have autofocus. Make sure that the autofocus is set on your phone to autofocus. So just to recap, you only need five things to completely level up your video content using your cell phone. Of course, you need a cell phone, one. Two, you need a microphone for audio. It's very important to have good audio on your video footage. Third thing you need is good lighting. Use natural sunlighting or use a ring light or some soft box lights to really help bring out your video quality on the camera on your cell phone. The fourth thing you need is a scene, a set. You need like to be in a scene, a good set. And you also need, the fifth thing is a tripod. Get a tripod to help you have stability, good angles and good framing. If you can get those five things taken care of, you will be ahead of 99% of other video content creators who are using their cell phone to create content on YouTube and social media. Just get those five things figured out. It may seem like a lot at first. It may seem a little bit intimidating, but trust me, break it down to five steps like I did and then go over each one of those five steps like I did and just kind of check mark and check off each thing and make sure that everything is up to par every new video I'm gonna be doing a new comment winner uh, that left a comment on my previous video so this video's comment winner is if you want to be the comment winner for the next video all you have to do is go in the comments and leave a comment or ask a question and I'll go through those and I will pick a comment winner for the next video. All right, so the question of the day, if you would go in the comment section and let me know, are you using your cell phone to record your video content right now? If you are, tell me maybe some of the process that you go through or you know the steps that you go through to make sure your video content comes out really good also if you're not using your cell phone do you think it's something that you may get into going forward maybe using your cell phone to record more of your video content let me know in the comment section i'll jump in the comment section with you and i will go ahead and chop it up with you ask me any questions you have and 
Let's go. I hope you enjoyed the video today and I hope you did learn something. And um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, I'm going to be releasing tons of tips, tutorials, step by step guides and things like that uh, on this channel. So to help you become a better content creator. So I do look forward to that and I will see you around the channel. Don't forget to check out these videos right here. Remember, pursue your passion, fulfill your purpose and produce profit.